For three memorable days, the city of Norfolk will again host the annual Norfolk Harbor Fest, the nation's longest running free maritime festival. The event has its origins in 1976, the nation's bicentennial year, where the world's tall sail training ships gathered in the New York Harbor to mark this historic occasion and to celebrate international goodwill among nations. The arrival of one of the tall ships to Norfolk on its way to New York and the overwhelming turnout of local residents to welcome the ship to our city inspired a keen interest from local, city, state, maritime, military, and civic leaders to create an annual event to celebrate the rich history of Norfolk's harbor and to serve as an opportunity to welcome and foster international goodwill. Now organized by Norfolk Fest events with support from the city of Norfolk, volunteers and the private business sector, Norfolk Harbor Fest, free and open to the public, continues in its 43rd year with thrilling activities on land and sea at Town Point Park in downtown Norfolk. The festival includes a display of military, character, and tall ships, the parade of sail, artisan foods and beverages, unique and unusual performances, one of the largest fireworks shows on the East Coast, family games and activities, national and regional entertainment, and continues the tradition of fostering international goodwill. While this spectacular festival includes a display of maritime craftsmanship, engaging arts and crafts for the entire family, and diverse food and music, there are many locals who choose not to attend the free event. For some, they perceive Harborfest as a celebration of the darker history of the Tidewater region, the history of chattel slavery in Norfolk and the transatlantic slave trade. As the nation and Commonwealth of Virginia commemorates the 400th anniversary of the arrival of Africans to Virginia in 2019, it is appropriate at this time to explore this Norfolk Harbor Fest myth. In a collective effort with Norfolk State University, Norfolk Fest events and the city of Norfolk, a 14-month long project has been initiated to create an open dialogue on this subject, supported with research and community engagement. This campaign will include creating information and resources that will explain both the myth and realities about Norfolk Harbor Fest within the context of Norfolk's early history. This initiative is well aligned with the City of Norfolk's objectives to promote positive experiences, inclusion, and embraces Norfolk's authentic history and position in the Commonwealth and country. The goal of the project is to accurately explore the story of Norfolk Harbor Fest in comparison to the history of slavery in the area and the Harbor Fest origin myth. Put the rumors to rest while educating the public about the fascinating piece of Norfolk's maritime history. Despite the location of Norfolk Harbor Fest on the downtown Norfolk waterfront where slave activity once took place, the reality is that Norfolk Harbor Fest does not celebrate this particular institution. Instead, it is a festival at the waterfront that recognizes national and international maritime and military goodwill and nautical traditions, especially the impressive tall ships, military, and other sailing vessels. So where did the myth of Harborfest's association with the slave trade come from? Within the last 20 years, stories have circulated the claim that Harborfest is actually a celebration of the transatlantic slave trade which was the European systematic importation of West Africans into the New World against their will. This forced bondage relegated men, women, and children to the bowels of slave ships, which are quite similar in appearance to many of the tall ships on display during the parade of sail at Harbor Fest. Further, with the physical location of the festival, which is Town Point Park along the waterfront of Norfolk, the local lore also claims that Harbor Fest celebrates the domestic slave trade. While Norfolk had an indisputable role in the domestic slave trade, it did not serve as a port of entry during the transatlantic slave trade itself. Moreover, while one might want to conclude, given Norfolk's history, that Harborfest celebrates slavery, this assertion is not true. Harborfest, an annual free event, is a boon for the local economy because it provides exposure to many of the local businesses and entertainment in the Tidewater area. Beginning in 1976, Harborfest became a way for the city of Norfolk to develop the city's harbor into a thriving area of commerce, education, and entertainment. The tall ships that visit Norfolk Harborfest from around the world are representatives of visiting countries' navies and U.S. private foundation ships that represent the maritime and historical culture of other American and Canadian port cities. None of the visiting tall ships have any affiliation with early American slave activity. Further, the international maritime community's involvement in Harborfest also serves as an example of how nations create goodwill among each other through this type of festival. 
while providing local citizens education and entertainment involving maritime activity. It was never intended to ostracize any citizens or attendees who unfortunately came to believe that the festival celebrates slavery based on the fact that slavery was, indeed, a part of the city's history. Going forward, Norfolk State University Joseph Jenkins Roberts Center for the African Diaspora and the Film and Humanities Institute have joined with the city of Norfolk and Norfolk Fest events to ensure that rumors, myths, and mistaken information are corrected with the real true of our complicated and varied history of Norfolk. There is the hope that those who boycott or dismiss Harbor Fest as celebrating the stain of chattel slavery on American history will come to see the festival as a welcoming maritime event that tries to repair the city's past by creating a summer event that is focused on building an inclusive community and a thriving, prosperous future. Understanding, explaining, and correcting our true history is especially important as our nation is commemorating the 400th anniversary of the first Africans who were forcibly kidnapped and brought to Virginia's shores in America's first colony.